Jalen, that was awesome. Yeah, he wanted to do that today. So yes, I'm Justin Arnold here, Wake Up and Move, and we do that every episode because that's what we want. You want you getting up, moving, and making moving a part of your life, making enjoyable and fun. And like this one, we're continuing that series on movement is medicine. And this one's gonna get a little more primal, but we're mixing that strength. We're mixing that mobility, and we're gonna be on the ground here, but just like always, we're gonna make it so it's scalable, so everybody can do this. Again, like Jalen said, so we can get you moving better, feeling better, and living better. So a little primal body weight movement on this WOW or Workout of the Week Wednesday. several different movements here. We're gonna start out with some that you might know, but we're just gonna add some strength elements to them. Uh, one of these is the runner stretch to Cossack lunge is how we're gonna add it. So I'm gonna show you from a couple different angle, uh, angles. And if you want to, you can add a little downward dog. I want you to like watch me in these videos, but create it your own, just always quality over quantity. So we step in, this is what's called a runner stretch, probably very familiar. You're gonna walk your hands back into this. You it was one of my favorite, but on this one, we're gonna stand all the way up, getting that glute fire, working that core, Cossack back down, and then walk back. Again, if you wanna add a downward dog, totally cool. Runner stretch on that other side, walk down, make sure we're deep, pressing up and coming down. And if you've struggled with this, starting from the bottom like that might actually get you to doing a movement you might have not been able to do at all or as well. Now we got to even out that other side. So again, runner stretch. And if you need to drop that back knee, or like we've shown, if you need like some kind of like foam block, a yoga block or something to elevate, if that one's too hard, then go right ahead. So that's your first one. The next one we're gonna do a scorpion to a push up. And you see me do probably the scorpion here, but maybe you haven't seen me do the push up. So we just reach out that arm to that T. Hi Jay, how's it going? You're gonna rotate over, try to keep the head down. Like if you've got a lot of tension in your traps and your shoulder and your back, which a lot of people do, they're really stressed out so they really have it live in there, in their shoulders. Try to keep the head down, you're pressing up. So you're opening up your hip, you're loosening up your spine, your back, your chest and your shoulder, then you're coming back middle. And then we're gonna do a push up and we're gonna tap that shoulder. And then we come down, reach out to the other side. Hey Jay, press down. Make sure again, you keep that head down. Try not to flare this leg up. Feel like you're pushing that foot, squeezing that glute. You feel your glute firing, Jay? Uh -huh. And then we're gonna come back. And when we do this, just make sure you try to alternate sides. If you're really pumped and you wanna do like double push-ups and then rotate, that's all on you. If you can't even do a push-up and you do push-ups on your knees, that works as well. Okay, now we're gonna come to a bridge reach to a 90-90 rotation. So if you struggle with bridges, just do the best job you can. You might need to do both hands to a tabletop, but we wanna start with squeezing those shoulder blades down and back, hands here, you're pressing down into that hand, you're lifting from the hips first, you're reaching across, you're coming back. Now that's a strength movement along with mobility and then you're coming here, you're rotating towards and you're just 90-90 reach. So I'll show you that again, Jay, so watch. Squeeze the shoulder blades, watch me. Hand here, press through, press those hips up, reach across. And then you're gonna come back down. You're gonna drop the knees like that. Yeah. And you're just gonna reach across there. Now, why that reach? Well, if you're like me, you'll feel that in your lat and your back. You feel that stretch here, Jay? Uh -huh. Right in there, you're gonna feel that. So we're getting that strength with the bridge reach. We're even opening up the glutes, the hips, the lat. And then we're coming to that 90-90. So we're getting the hips rotating, getting the hips loose, and then some lat reaches, getting that mobility into our back. Now we're back to a different scorpion to the kick through. I might need some room for this, so just be careful, Jay. So we're into this plank position, which anytime we're in the plank, we're working that core. So you're gonna push through, like in that downward dog, we're gonna reach that foot in or up, like you're almost trying to rotate, and that is a movement, but you don't wanna fully rotate on this one. What we're going to do, I'm going in slow motion, which you could always do. You're gonna bring that knee to that opposite elbow, little hop, little kick through, right? Isn't that challenging? You have, you have. So reach like you're trying to reach, like I'm trying to kick you. Eh, eh. And then we're bringing that knee to that elbow and then we're just, boom, I touch your butt. Hey, He's my it. son. 
Don't get all weird on me, people. <laughs> and then we're back here again. Reach like you're reaching across. I feel that into my hip, man, my lat. It's too tight today. I did like 100 pull-ups yesterday, and then we're coming through. So that's a nice one again, mobility in the hips, into the back, some strength in the core. You could go faster, take your own pace. Again, I'm all gonna put some programming notes to down below uh, as far as how you wanna do this. Again, it could be timed reps. Now we're gonna do what's called a lateral ape to a hamstring stretch. So again, we're killing two birds with one stone. We're getting the strength and mobility, and this is probably one of my fun, favorite ones. It's a little more playful. Again, go at your level. You can make this as playful as possible. Watch out this way. I'm gonna go that way, and then I'll come back this way. So you kind of get into this low squat. If that's hard, get as far as you can. Um, and if you need to like get on a chair or something and hop, you can, but you're basically gonna put your hands one place. Watch out, I'm gonna put my feet basically where you are. And then you just hop over. When you get here, you're gonna grab your toes, hamstring stretch, back down to that low squat. You could rock it out a little bit. Now you can get a little more playful, kick those legs way up. Wherever you land, just get in that hamstring stretch. Like that. Hamstring stretch. Go ahead and try it. Yeah, now do that hamstring stretch. Grab your toes and stand up, push your butt up. Feels good on the hamstrings, right, Jay? Uh -huh. Do it again. Let's see it again. Push your hands, yeah. You just wanna put your hands like right here. Land softly, grab those toes, hamstring stretch. And those are your movements. Again, you might think, man, Justin, that's kind of hard. It's not, we can level anything. Like I said, on that last one, you could grab a chair. Don't grab a human being or anything, <laughs> but very primal, this is playful. And I want you to have fun with this. But again, we're just demonstrating, but you feel your heart rate up, right? You feel your muscles, uh -huh. you feel a little tired, but you also feel looser, right? Uh -huh. It's good, it's something you can incorporate. Even for what, you play hockey, soccer, uh -huh. Do you think something like this could help you out? Uh -huh. How so? Putting him on the spot here. He wasn't ready for this one. How so? Um, in case I'm gonna try to get the ball in soccer, I could um, I could just go towards them, and if they're going to the side, I could just go down and then up. Do you think this would give you more like speed and power and mobility to be able to do that? Uh -huh. Cool, awesome. Anyways, before we go on here, this is my son Jalen, if you didn't know already. He's on a lot of these videos. He actually helps me tape them and edit them as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, we hope these help you move better, feel better, and live better. Movement should medicine, be medicine. Movement should feel good, should improve your life, make your be life better. It should help you and not hurt you. And if you need anything in any direction, you know who to call and where to come to, right? Uh-huh. Don't give up, try your best and have fun. Take care. Hey, thanks for checking out videos just like these. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click on notifications below to stay up to date all these videos that we post here throughout the week. And again, tag a friend underneath if you think they might benefit from these videos. And if you need further training or further information or a little more personalized programming to meet your needs, we can create a customized roadmap to meet your needs here at FlexMP. Just click on that link below. Again, contact us today at FlexMP to get you moving better, living better, and feeling better.